What's going on guys, GeoThumeGRC.com. So today I go ahead and run this to see how fast I can get it. But before I did any of that is I did a little modification to it to put a 29 tooth pinion gear in there. Just to let you guys know too, uh, they didn't like it. Uh, what happened was it, it gave basically when I got about halfway, it cut off as far as... Uh, cut off there. Not sure. For the most part, it just once it got to a certain peak, it shut the car down on the motor, and it was like, oh, can't go any more on that part of it. But I still had steering and everything like that. So, uh, you know, the main thing's going to be there's a few things that I already know that could be the issue to this too. One, I got a big gear on there, so it's going to draw lots of amps, and that's going to amps are going to demand from the ESC, which then they're going to translate to the battery. Now these batteries are 12 gauge. These are the 150 or these are 50 C discharge batteries. And they have an XT60 on them. So, problem that I have with that too is I'm using this little adapter that I made. So this is an XT90, which is what the car has, and the car has. Well, let me show you a little bit here. So these wires here, this is 10 gauge. So this is a bigger pipeline as far as to uh, you know run a lot of current through. I'm just bottlenecking the power. So this is 12 gauge. So there's a lot of resistance that's happening with these connectors that I'm using. But this is what I use. For most of my vehicle but now I'm running into the problem where this is an issue could be the battery too so there's a little bit of maybe the batteries definitely in the connectors so I'm going to have to switch connectors so I'm probably going to chop the ends off these XT60s which I do like because it's more universal and so that's kind of a bummer because that means I'm going to have to change most of my vehicles to XT60 or XT90s and uh, or make some another little adapter so that way I can put them on like Dean's or XT60 just basically flipped this thing around. So anyway, I did that. So I got it up to not after all of it I went ahead and I put a 20 tooth pinion gear in. And it went 70 miles an hour, but still getting on that throttle it shut off. I'm gonna go live tomorrow so you guys can chime in and say, yeah, yeah, you, you know, you're gonna want to go ahead and uh, you know This is definitely an issue that you have with that adapter. So that's gonna be one thing you might want to go ahead and get you know batteries that can handle like a hundred C discharge, so that's going to be something else I'm going to do. And uh, you know I check the connections here, make sure everything's okay. But uh, nonetheless, you know that's just one of the things I did turn down. I have my little card here for my ESC, so I turned the punch down. That way it wasn't such a demand all of a sudden. But in this case here, I just want to gradually get into the into a speed run anyhow. But tires worked well. Again, it went 70 miles an hour with a 20 tooth pinion gear, but that it could go faster than that, even with the 20 tooth pinion gear in there. It's just that it, it cut off at top. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about it. I'm gonna do some troubleshooting anyhow, but I just wanna kinda of fill you guys in on that and just check out the video and you can kinda of see what happens. All right, appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, now you can watch the video clip. <laughs>